Hello again, everybody. This is Derek from ScreamingGoalAirsoft.com, and today I'm going to film two videos. Uh, the first video is going to be a know-it-all video, and this know-it-all video is going to be on how to zero your airsoft rifle. Um, it, we're not going to use iron sights. We're, what I'm going to use is an electronic red dot sight, but the concept is the same for iron sights also. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to shoot at some targets that I've got right there. And these targets are at 50 feet. I'll be shooting that at them at 50 feet. That's what I recommend. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a few shots. We're going to see what we've done. We're going to adjust. We're going to take a few more shots. We're going to see what we did. We're going to adjust. It's a step-by-step -step process. This does not, you just don't just shoot a couple of rounds and then have it magically on target. You have to work your magic to get it there. Okay, first of all, here's some things that you're going to need. You're going to need the gun that you plan to be zeroing. Duh. Okay, you'll also need some ammo, right? So the ammo that I recommend using is the heaviest ammo that you probably will be using on in a game. So I have my Wii uh, Trigger Time Precision BBs. These are 30s. Okay, the heavier the better for zeroing, okay? It does, now if I zero with 30s and I shoot some 28s or some 25s, that's fine. But the heavier the BB, the less effect the world will have on your shots. The only thing that's going to affect your shots would be your aim, okay? So when you fire, make sure you fire on semi. There's no need to fire full auto when zeroing your weapon. Uh, later, after it's zeroed and you're on the field, you want to fire full auto, that's perfectly acceptable. That's what I will be doing. But to zero it, you will fire it on semi one shot at a time. All right, there's a couple of things I wanted to make sure I went over. Um, you want to also have a stable firing platform. The less movement that you have, like firing from the prone on a sandbag, or firing from a table, or firing from like a tree branch or something like that will give you a, a more stability on your shot and that will be less room for error um, you don't want your you don't want to stand or kneel and have your gun kind of wobbling and while, while you're shooting because that's going to throw off your uh, your grouping for your for your when you try to zero your weapon now um, some of you like are asking like what does zero mean well what that means is I'm going to take my sights, okay, and I'm going to move them so that they will go, they will aim at where the BBs are hitting. So if the, if the BBs hit like five feet off to the left, you want your sights to aim five feet to the left. So when you're looking through your sights, you're looking where your bullets are going. Okay, so far you follow me, that's good. Okay, so what we're going to do is, uh, also, you have to have eye protection. Whenever you have an airsoft out there, even if you're not being shot at, I recommend wearing eye protection. You never know. Ricochets happen, accidents happen. Make sure your eyes are protected. Now, the first step is not to shoot at a target. The first step is to actually adjust your hop-up. you got to make sure your hop-up is correct. If your hop-up is not correct, then your zeroing is not doing anything. It's not accomplishing anything. Because once you adjust your hop up, now your zero is going to be off. So you've got to zero with a good, with your hop up set the way you want it. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to shoot off at a distance and I'm going to adjust my hop up just to make sure my hop up is set just right. Now once my hop up is set just right, I'm also going to see generally how far off it is. Because my red dot scope might be looking at that branch there but if I see my BBs are flying way off to the left, then I'm going to adjust my sight to the left before I even start shooting at targets. Alright, so I made some just um, I made some adjustments to the hop. 
and uh, not a whole lot because it's already been set and I made some adjustments to my sight. I moved it over a little bit because it was way, the shots were going way to the right so I moved the shots the sight a little bit to the right. So now it's pretty close just based on shooting that twig. Okay so now I'm going to start shooting at the targets. Um, the reason why I say shoot at 50 feet is okay now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a good grouping of shots probably three or four inches with it on a target 50 feet away. What will that do at 100 feet? Well that'll be like six to eight inches will get hit at 100 feet and at 150 feet we're looking at nine to 12 inches at 150 feet. And I'd be happy to hit a 12 inch target at 150 feet with an airsoft gun. So let me go ahead and take a few shots and uh, we'll walk down there and see what's going on. I'm putting the red dot square in the center of the target that way each time and then I will know how many inches I need to adjust left or right up or down here we go when you squeeze your trigger again you want to squeeze the trigger you don't want to jerk it because if you jerk it your gun will slightly move and slight movements here is exaggerated down there another thing your breathing when you get ready to pull the trigger you want to stop your breathing. You got to think about it. You got to physically stop your breathing. <gasps> Shoot. Okay? So while you're breathing, right before you pull the trigger, stop your breathing. Okay, here we go. Because what does breathing do? <gasps> Moves your shoulder, your chest in and out. Your gun, guess what? We'll move an inch. And it, moving an inch here, 20 inches down there. Here we go. Okay, always put your weapon on safe, and let's go check it out. All right, that is my grouping at 50 feet. We're looking at one, two, three, four, five. Hmm, what does that look like to you? Well, I got four above the line and one below. Do I need to bring this down? If I averaged it out, it's hitting right about where it needs to hit. What do you think? That looks pretty dang good. Okay, maybe I need to maybe I need to go down just just a tad. Yep, we're gonna go down like half an inch. And then we'll shoot at the second target. Alright, now we need to make that adjustment. Now on this red dot scope that I have, it requires that I have a flathead. And inside there, you'll see it says up. Well, that means if I turn clockwise, my sight will come up to the bullets. And that's what I want it to do. I want it, the sight to come up like, what did I say, maybe half an inch. Each one of these ticks should be a quarter of an inch. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to try shooting at the second target now. Control my breathing. And go. Haha, <laughs> I gotta take it off the safe. All right, well, I fired a little bit more than five, it looks like. Fired one, two, three, four, five, six, that's what I thought. But you notice, if I was to average this out, it looks like it's still hitting right about there. So I brought it down, um, didn't go lower than this one, but it did for some reason. I got that crazy shot there. You know how not every BB's perfect. 
So I'm going to ignore that shot. You want to ignore shots that are caught by the wind or the hop really affected it like dram dramatically. So I'm going to average these shots and it looks like it's right on target. So I'm going to verify this by shooting at this target here. Okay, I got a pretty good tight shot group right there. That's within three inches. I'm happy with that. I'm ignoring this shot. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put about 15, can you even see that? I'm going to put 15 shots into that target right there. And this is what I'm calling verifying my zero. All right, as you can see, um, I'm glad I attempted to verify my zero. Um, if you can see, majority of my shots were actually landing right there. Good height, but it is one inch to the left. I need to pull that sight more to the right, and then I'll verify it on this lower target here. I think I put more than five rounds in it. I just love it shooting my gun so much that I think I've put like 10 rounds in it. Okay, looking at it, it still looks a little bit to the left. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go to this next, my last target. Notice I've used six targets already. This is my sixth target, I mean. I'm gonna bring it over to the right again, a little bit more. And actually I'm moving the aiming point to the left one inch. I'm going to bring my aiming point over about one inch, and I'm going to put about 10 or 15 shots in that.
All right. Majority of my targets are hitting just a hair high, but they're right on target. If you look, you'll see that the majority of them are right there. I'm going to bring it down, and I'm going to shoot again at my first target, which only has five holes. And that right there, my friend, is a zeroed airsoft gun. All right, and that's how you zero your airsoft gun. It's very similar to zeroing a real firearm. Now, the, the real test would be to make, put out a 150 foot target and shoot it and see if I hit accurately, which I believe I would. So, uh, but I'm not gonna do that today. Um, Thank you for coming out and checking out this video. You guys, please subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, whenever you're on the airsoft field, play safe.